In air conditioning, Farmer John's cows each live in a stall. Each one of these stalls needs a specific temperature, and Farmer John has the ability to raise or lower an entire range of stalls by either one or negative one. Farmer John basically needs to find the minimum number of moves, where each move is a command where he needs to tell the stalls in a certain range to increase or decrease, and get the minimum number of moves he needs in order to bring the current temperatures in the stalls to the ideal temperatures in the stalls. Let's go look at the algorithm for this question. There are two main steps to solving this question. And the first one is, from the values we get, we can make what's called a difference array. And what that basically is, is with our current values and the values we want to obtain, we're going to make a new array of the difference between the value we want and the value we have. So more simply put, our current value minus the value we want to get. So for 4 and 1, that would be 3. For 5 and 1, it would be 4. And we can basically create another array for how much we need to increase or decrease our current value by. Once we've made that, we can turn this list here and then map it on to a graph like this. And so when we increase or decrease, instead of trying to reach some other height, we're trying to make this list into a height of perfectly zero. Once we've done this, we can actually try and use a pointer technique. Basically, we're going to assign our starting value, i, and then what we can realize after doing a couple test cases, and this is one of the most important parts of the question, is we can actually reach an optimal solution by making sure that once we increase something, we don't decrease it. So basically taking a greedy approach. So let's say we have to start at i. We're going to keep incrementing until we reach a j, where the j is the last value that is either positive or negative, depending on i. So if i is positive, it's the last value where everything in the range from i to j is also positive. And the reason we're going to find this j is because we know for some value, the minimum value within this range, so the smallest of these heights, we're able to basically remove a continuous range within this range from i to j without having to lower it again. And so once we found our i and our j, we're then going to take this difference array and then we're going to implement our stack. And the way we're going to use this stack is basically as we loop through from i to j, we're basically going to find the smallest value we've seen so far. So let's say we have a stack here. We're going to push in the first value here. It's going to be 3 with index i. And then we go to the next one. The next one is obviously taller. And then the next one is shorter. So we're going to push this one where it's 2. And then index i plus 2. And then we're going to find the next one, which is taller. And then we're going to find j. And j happens to be the smallest so far. So then we're going to push j and then height of 1. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go backwards through the stack, popping values, and for each one, we're going to take it off of the range. So I'll show this more specifically in the code, but basically we're going to take the range of our current i to our current j. And then as we move through, this is going to change, and you'll see what I mean by this in a minute. We're going to take our j and i and then we're going to remove this height from all values. So in this case, it's 1. So we're just going to remove all of these values. And then we're going to move on. If this i is not 0 yet, we're going to stay here. And then we're going to pop the next thing from our stack. We're going to take this and then for our i and j. And in this case, since this j is 0, we're actually going to find our new j as here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the difference between this height and this height, and then we're going to subtract that value. Since if we have, say, this value here, if I were to subtract 2 off of this, it would be negative because we already subtracted 1. So basically, we're going to subtract a height of 2 minus 1, where the 2 is this 2 and that 1 is this 1, and then we're going to subtract that height from everything left in the range. So we're just going to remove that. And then we're going to reach the next value, where this is 3. And then again, we find the difference, or let's say delta. 
and then we're just going to take that one off of the range too. And notice in this case our j has, because now we have a zero value here, our range has decreased. So then we're going to take that value off here, and now that our i has become zero, we're going to move our i to the next value and then start again by finding a new range of i and then j. This is a little bit complicated, but we'll see this more specifically in the code. The main ideas we need to realize is we're going to keep our stack here, and we're going to have our i and j pointers. And then as we move, some values are going to turn into zero. And when these values turn into zero, our range is going to decrease or change. So for example, once this value becomes zero, we're not going to use this range, and we're just going to update and then turn this range into zero first. And then we're going to keep going until our i is zero. Once our i is zero, we're going to start again with our new values. So anything that's non-zero still. And then we're going to assign a new i and then start the process again. Let's click the code for this question. We're going to read in the input. And in this case, I've condensed it all into three lines where we're just going to read in our values as lists and then of integers. For each value, we're going to create our difference list by basically going through from 0 to n minus 1, and then adding in a value of diff i as equal to ai minus pi, meaning our current temperature minus the temperature we're trying to get. So this value can be either positive or negative, and we'll see later we're actually going to use that. Next, we're going to create a couple variables. We're going to make a flag, and I'll explain this later, and then also keep our answer and then our i. We're also going to make our stack for the purposes mentioned in the earlier section. So we're going to loop through a while loop. And then as we go through, we're going to check to see, and this is where our flag comes in, if our difference array i is equal to zero and i is still within range, we're going to increment i by one. So this means that we're only ever going to increment i whenever our difference value is equal to zero or our current temperature is equal to the temperature we're trying to get. And then in the case where we go over, where i is equal to n, we're just going to break. And then we can create our j index and then our m. So m is going to be the value that we erase. And then since we're going to find the smallest possible value, I'm going to set it as a large value. So this value is as long as it's large enough or larger than our largest possible value for temperature difference, then it works. And then for the main part of our program, we're going to have an if statement. So if we are currently in a new i, meaning our same flag is false, so we're either just entering this loop or we've incremented i by at least one, we're going to loop through from i to j, where j is going to keep going until we have this trick here, where if i is positive and j is negative, then the value is going to be negative. But if i and j are both positive or both negative, then this condition is going to be true. So these multiplying together is just basically going to tell us whether or not they're both positive or both negative. And if they are, then we're going to continue on. Otherwise, we're going to break. So using this statement here, we're just going to check to see if our current value and then absolute value, because we need to find the absolute value even if it's negative, if that value is less than our current negative, or m, then we're going to add it to our stack. And then once we've done that, we're just going to make m an absolute value here, and then basically assign m to the absolute value of the difference array of j. And then once we're done with that, we're going to increment j by 1. And then if we're in the case where we've already done this, so we the value at the flag same is true, then we're going to pop out our value of j and m from our stack. And then once that's done, we're going to loop through from i to j. And for every value, if the value is greater than 0, then we're going to add negative m. If the value is less than 0, we're going to add m. So basically, we're going to subtract the value from our current value in the difference array, and then add m to the total number of moves in our answer. And we're going to mark same as true since we ha have visited our current i. At the very end of the program, we can just print our answer. And that's the end.